This infinite series contains the natural numbers 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 and up to infinity. Interestingly, each number is double than its predators. If we sum all those numbers up to infinity, no computer can calculate it because its infinite series having no ending. But would you believe if I say the summation of this infinite series is equal to negative 1? Well, let me show you this series is equal to minus 1 by breaking the rules of mathematics. In order to prove that this long infinite series is equal to minus 1, uh, let's start from the simple way. We know 2 plus 1 is equal to 1. That means we can substitute this 1 by this 2 minus 1. And I will use this part later on in our calculation. Just remember it. Let's rewrite the infinite series here again. 1 plus 2 plus next one is double than previous one that means double of 2 means it's 4 and double of 4 means it's 8 and double of 8 means it's uh, 16 so we don't need to write it let's uh, continue it up to the infinity which is equals to I can rewrite this form on right hand side again 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus up to infinity right so left hand side is equal to right hand side there is no contradiction and then um, interestingly i can multiply this part by one rewrite this again one plus two plus four plus eight plus up to infinity and i am multiplying this part by one that means if i multiply anything by one that remains the same so they can um, go back and forth as I told you before, I can substitute this one by 2 minus 1. That means I can rewrite this part as 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 means 1 and 1 multiplied by this infinite series remains the same. So there is no mathematical contradiction up to this one. Next one is I can multiply this 2 with this whole series minus this 1 multiplied by that series. That I am going to apply here. So what is that? I can write this equal sign here because I need very long space. So 2 minus 2 times 1 means 2. This plus 2 times 2 is 4. This plus here 2 times 4 means 8. This plus here 2 times 8 means it's 16 plus up to infinity. And then this minus exactly here. I can multiply this 1 with whole series here. That means 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 times 8 is 8 um, plus and here is another 16. So I can say 1 times 16 times uh, 16 plus dot dot and infinity. So I am going to open this bracket. How it is possible? Just simply write this equation 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus uh, 16 plus and dot dot infinity minus if I want to open this bracket and um, there is a minus that means all sign will be converted into different sign that means plus will be minus. So 1 minus um, 2 minus 4 minus 8 minus 16 minus and dot dot up to infinity now look at here the interesting part is remaining in this mathematical statement this plus 2 and that minus 2 they can cancel each other that means that and that is removed from our equation this plus 4 and this minus 4 they cancel each other this plus 8 and that minus 8 and this 16 plus 16 and that minus 16 they cancel each other that means the remaining whole series and that minus series they cancel each other and only these minus one is remaining look at here this minus one that means and next line i can rewrite is minus one so what is that that means this series is equal to minus one so i prove that one plus two plus four plus eight plus um up to infinity in, up to infinity that means this series can go up to infinite which is equals to minus one as i told you before that this series is equal to minus one and i 
prove it here that this infinitely long series is equal to minus 1. Of course, I did not follow the fundamental rules of mathematics somewhere in this integral calculation. And that means I break the fundamental law of mathematics intentionally in this integral calculation. As a result, I got this funny result. You do not follow this mathematical calculation in your exam because I'm trying to make you understand if you do a tiny mistake in your calculation, it will um, uh, give you a completely different result. So if you know what exactly is the mistake, you can find it in this calculation and write it in the comment section. You're open to write it. Well, I have an interesting factor to show you. As you can see, this is a random number and this random number is eliminated from that number. You can use your calculator to eliminate these two numbers very easily. But I have a very interesting way to eliminate these two numbers. The way is is very simple what you have to do you have to subtract the first digit from 9 that means um, how I can say like this way um, 9 minus 1 here which is equals to 8 and you, you have to subtract the second number also from 9 that means 9 minus 0 which is equals to 9 and then you have to subtract the third number all digit have to subtract from 9 that means 9 minus 6 which is equals to um, 3 9 minus 2 which is equals to uh, 7 and 9 minus 6 which is equals to um, 3 and interesting fact is at the last digit you have to eliminate it from 10 that means 10 minus 6 which is equals to 4 so we got this number if you add this number with that number that will be equal to this number minus that number okay what is that look at here 25 258692 plus this number 8 9 3 7 3 4 which is equal to 1 1 5 2 4 2 6 what you have to do is you have to just cancel this first number and rest of the digit are the answer of this that means if you use calculator from this number minus that number which is equals to that let's use the calculator is equal to 1 5 2 4 1 5 2 4 2 6 say one five two four two six this and that are same let's do a simple calculation let's say 986 minus 226 as i told you before just eliminate this first digit from the nine that means nine minus two which is equals to seven nine minus two is also equal to seven and last digit has to be eliminated from ten ten minus six means it's four so we got this number and this number has to be um, add with that number that means 986 plus 774 which is equals to 1760 what you have to do you have to just eliminate the first number you remove the first number rest of them is the answer that means 986 minus 226 is 760 let's prove it through the calculator see in the calculator 760 that means our rules are proved here right well don't go i have something interesting thing for showing you would you believe if i say one plus one is equal to three <laughs> it's like instant thinking right okay i proved that a one plus one is equal to three by breaking the fundamental law of mathematics you can have a look in the um, another video here is showing in the card um well thank you so much for watching and i appreciate you subscribe this channel it will help me a lot to make further better content thank you so much and see you next time bye bye